So today I'm going to be talking about producing video on a shoestring because um, it's all well and good, you know, we can see fancy and, and you know, you know, impressive video content, but often it can be fairly expensive. And if we want to create regular video content, we need to find a way to be able to do it a bit more affordably. Um, the cool thing is, is that obviously, if you can create regular video content, it's very easy to share across social media. It's pretty much plug and play, and all those great uh, platforms are already there for us. Um, I sometimes ask this question, has anybody seen a celebrity recently? Has anybody seen a celebrity recently in the street or somewhere like that? No? How long have you got? Um, <laughs> well, well, I don't know. I can't ask you the question there, can I? But imagine if you'd seen a celebrity. Um, there's a, there's, a, there's a sort of a part of you, that usually, when people have seen a celebrity, um, that sort of feels like they, they kind of know that person. And there's a part of you that's drawn to go over and say hello. There's some, you feel like there's a relationship, although obviously there probably isn't. So this is because when we've seen someone again and again and again. So if you can actually, if you can create regular video content and have people uh, experiencing your brand through that visual format over a number of times, they actually are starting to build a relationship and even starting to feel like they trust and know you, even though they may not have met you. It could have been you know, while you're asleep. So it's pretty cool. Um, the main two barriers that stop people from actually sort of creating more video content, I guess, is cost. And the other is being able to do it, what they think is well enough that they're confident to put it out. So today is going to be all about a very practical session about Vine videos, even more so. We, we do one-day training courses where we train people to create sort of slightly longer videos. But this is even easier. We're going to do it in an hour and 20 minutes. So they don't cost anything. Um, and they're relatively easy to do if you have a smartphone. Um, um, there are some technical aspects to learn. But still, as Kat was talking about earlier, even though it's only six seconds, the story is still everything. It's still the same principles apply. It's just you've got to get it in six seconds. It is quite tricky. Um, so in terms of the, thing, the, um, the particular things that Kat picked up on that were the, the strongest reasons to share, when, you're making your, when we do break into the groups, try and have a think about which ones you're going to focus on. And I know some of the very effective ones had multiple of these. But I think when we were chatting with Kat, we said, maybe try and choose two, wasn't it? Just try and because, you know, keep it simple initially. So try and choose two and go for it quite strongly. Because it was about, did, did, you feel the, did you feel that feeling strongly? just moderately or weekly. And when you feel it strongly, that's when you're much more likely to share. So just very, very quickly, who, who, who's actually, who knows about Vine? Who, should I say, who doesn't, who doesn't know about Vine? OK, a couple. That's, that's good. So it's basically this app. This is what it looks like, this, uh, this sort of app. So you download it from the App Store, and that's what it would look like on your phone. Um, who's actually made a Vine video before? That's good. So hopefully, there'll be one of you in each of those 10 groups so you can, you can help your groups uh, to uh, maybe we can make sure that if there's too many in one group, we can spread you guys around who have done one before. So just very, very quickly, when you open up the app, you get this drop down menu. So you've got home, explore, activity, profile, and messages. Essentially, explore just means you can look for other people's vines according to different types of categories. Um, activity is just different types of people who have liked your vines or commented and stuff like that. Um, like a normal profile, you can customize your profile with how you like it to look. And they've got a new feature just to come out, uh, which is messages. So you can actually create a private Vine and send it to somebody privately through your contacts. Now, when you open your home page on Vine, <laughs> I was doing this yesterday, and I got this really annoying guy. Um, and he actually, uh, I hope none of you know him, but he got um, 10,000 views he had on this video. And it, honestly, I, I, I'm not sure how, but he, he did. Um, and when it opens up, immediately he was singing. Part of it was singing. He, 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 immediately you'd hear it. So if you, the way it works in Vine, if you click on the, on the picture, it'll stop playing. If you click on it again, it'll play. But the default is it starts to play when you open it up. So more importantly, though, in the top right corner, you see the, the camera. So once you click on the camera, that means you're now about to record your Vine. Um, and as you can see, this was me doing my presentation, putting together last night. Whatever you hold the camera up to then, it, it, it's ready to record, essentially. So it's, it's ready to record whatever you're focusing on. So I think now, okay, if you could click on that Vine thing. The basic principle, this is how, this is a little Vine I made. Hopefully we get some audio. If you can click on the top left thing, yeah. You can see the little green thing going across. That's showing that I'm actually recording. So this is obviously just recording a cup of tea. That loop. <laughs> how do I touch it? You can see the little green thing going across. That's showing that I'm actually recording. So this is obviously just recording a cup of tea. OK, you can, you can stop the audio now. <laughs> Um, so the principle is, whatever you're looking at uh, on the screen, you 
you, when you touch the screen, it records a little bit. And if you hold it down, it continues to record a little bit. Um, so you can see, and it shows you how far across, it, all the way across is your six, six seven seconds. Um, it does record audio. Um, and funnily enough, on your mobile phone, it defaults to play with audio, whereas online, when you look at it on the app, it defaults to play without audio. Um, and there's good reasons sometimes why you might not want to have any audio, and there's other reasons sometimes why you might, might want to have audio. And the basic principle essentially is, is that's how you create a Vine. Now, obviously, there's a whole bunch of creative ways you can do it, but that's the basic principle. Could we click over to the next one? So we, we've, I'm going to show you some kind of cool examples. These are considered the top 10 best people to follow on Vine. So you can see this person. Should we listen to the sound and see? OK, this person is an advanced Vine user. Because it's, it's, I'd say, relatively easy to get. It's called stop motion. So essentially, within a six or seven second period, if you're just doing tiny, tiny touches, you can get a lot of little incremental uh, stages. So they're obviously moving each little tiny thing a tiny bit, doing it again, tiny bit, doing it again. But to get the sound to sound good as well, that's r super advanced. So today, we, some of you hopefully will do like some stop motion things. But perhaps don't worry too much about the sound. It'll be, it'll be a lot easier. So this one, using different types of layered uh, felt and stuff, it's a, it, again, it's a, a sort of a stop motion video. Cool. Iron Man, I think. Yeah. So this is super cool. So obviously, it's giving the effect that she's eating all of this snow. But obviously, <laughs> obviously what they're doing is, is just putting some towards her mouth and at the same time taking some away. And it looks like it's all going into her mouth. Um, so it's kind of kind of cool, but let's uh, can we listen to the audio on that? Just see if the right. So they're obviously very careful to make sure there was no noise. Clever, cool. <laughs> um, this is a bit it was obviously a good uh, a good <laughs> artist, but quite a clever little idea. Um, cool. So they, uh, you might have noticed as well they loop, they loop. So there's clever ways sometimes that you can. Um, cool, if we keep going down. This is c quite cool. So, but if you listen to the sound on this one, so you don't want to listen to it with the sound, really. It's designed to, listen to, to be done without the sound. This one is designed to have the sound. <laughs> Watch the moonwalk. <laughs> OK, so uh, this is really good, actually. This, this is good with the sound as well. So this is also quite cool, yeah. So you can see they're just kind of clever little things there. I suppose these ones are not particularly, they don't have a huge story. They're just kind of quirky. They maybe they make you feel a certain way. Um, and I think that's pretty much yeah, it. Cool. So, so those are pretty good. And you may be thinking, yeah, great. So I'm not going to be able to do anything like that. They're all pretty cool. So if we go across to the next one, which, believe it or not, is, is that these are considered 10 of the best brands on, on Vine. This is clever. This is General Electric, um, and it basically just says six seconds science. So it's what, you do, what happens when you put milk, food coloring, and dish soap together. And it just, you would never think, would you, but it does this cool kind of thing. This one, I mean, this is totally achievable. Anyone in the room can do this. I don't know what's so good about that, to be honest, but it's just a bunch of different badges. Um, this one is clever. It's very simple, but it's very clever. You see? And that's the kind of thing I think that works really well. It's a really good example. And this is quite cool as, uh, as well. So the, the Marmite's kind of trying to decide which one he wants to go for. And then he goes for the guy. <laughs> and so then the rest are not so good. Um, OK. So if we, go, if we can go back in. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. So, um, so yeah, you can sort of see uh, the, the general principle, I guess, is try and have a simple idea and execute it well. Don't be over, too overambitious. Um, um, yeah. Um, so I'm going to just show you now a few quick. Oh, if we can go back one. Oops. Oh. Uh, just back one, if that's okay. Okay. Hopefully that's one second. Is that it? Yeah. And next, I'll go again. Yes. This is it. Um, so if, 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 Nancy, if you could just click on the Vine for me. So just very quickly, yesterday we were auditioning um, 17 actors for a thing we were doing. And in between, we managed to try and find 10 minutes to do this little quick little Vine. 
my, my idea was, you see, when you're looping something, if you can start off and finish with the same type of image, it looks like it's a continuous loop. My, my hope was, so I've obviously this says, tell us your story in six seconds using Vine. Um, I was going to try and go into the middle of the six, and it would look like it was a new piece of paper, and it would start again. But as you can see, in my sort of bit of a rush, the six wasn't really big enough. You got that shadowy bit. So it didn't quite work. So I was thinking, OK, so the next uh, one that I'm going to show is me experimenting with trying to improve that ending so I do it better next time. So I drew a slightly bigger six, hoping that when I get in there, it will, it will be a nice, clean, white thing. So if, if I click, hopefully that will play, yeah. So you see, there we go. That would have been a nice, clean one. Yeah. And it, if I'd done that at the end, so sometimes you'll do one and you'll experiment and it won't be quite right and you might do it again. And, and I think the people who are doing them well, they've spent many, many hours I'm sure, experimenting and getting these right. Um, so yeah, there's this cool little feature. So when you are on your, your, your screen where you're going to be you know, recording and touching the, touching the thing, along the bottom here you might have noticed a bunch of different uh, little icons. So this one just means it'll flip the camera back on you. So it's like, you know, it's not looking out, it'll be looking at you. This one will just give you the grids, so you can kind of um, position things within the frame. This one's quite good, especially if you're doing anything up close or you're trying to, you know, if it's not focused. If you press that uh, and then you touch on the screen where you want it to be focused, it will focus completely on that little bit. But this, this is an example of this. It's called a little ghost feature. So the next one I'm going to just show you very quickly is a thing where I recorded something with my fingers moving them like this. So I wanted to... Um, try and make sure I kept my hand in the same place. Because I didn't have a, we're going to give you little tripods today. So you're going to have a, it'll be easier for you to keep the camera steady. I was trying to keep this camera steady with this hand and do this. And it was tricky. So, but when you touch that little ghost thing, it, it shows you where the image was in the last frame. So you can try and keep it matched up. And it, it'll continue to do that. So it's quite a handy little, little tool. So this is just, yeah, if you could click on that one again, Nancy, thanks. Um, this is just a little attempt trying to do something in that sort of a style last night at probably about 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the idea is it's give peace a hand. <laughs> um, and you know, it's not too bad, but I kind of paused a bit long on the, on the P if I was doing it again. I, 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 uh, but the amount of times I was washing writing, on and, washing, writing on and off my hands, there's no way I was going to do it again at that time. But um, it gives you a kind of an idea. So before we kind of b do break up into our groups, um, I'm going to get we on our our full one day um, training courses. We 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 have a, a top ten tips, which are about sort of longer form videos. So I've just picked a few of them that I thought were relevant to this shorter format. So even though it says top ten, I think there might be four or five. Um, but the the group that wins today um, from your votes, all of the people in that group. Um, we're going to give a free place to our full one-day video training course, which is uh, London is on May the 19th and Birmingham on May the 20th. So um, hopefully the group is not too big, but <laughs> um, you're all uh, very welcome to that. So top 10 tips. So the first one is to start with the end in mind. Very, very important to be totally focused. If you don't know why you're making the video, unless you've got time to kill, don't bother. So re really be sure about why you're making it. So in this instance, for today, Back to uh, Kat's, uh, you know, psychological um, sort of triggers. Be really, really clear once you decide in your group, which one are we going to go for and go for it. So the camera is not a Hoover. It's, uh, it's a gun. So this is the corny bit. And that's why we call it shooting. Um, so, but the principle is that, um, you know, you can't edit something that's all over the place. It's too disorientating, especially in six minutes. Don't try and do too much. And it's particularly if you do do this uh, stop motion, which you'll notice in the top 10, w there was a lot of them that were stop motion. It works really well for Vine. We've got these. Can we show that little tripod? Sure. Hopefully we've got it in there. Yeah, so we've got these. Each group has one of these. So they're sort of bendy, and you can move them around and get your, um, your camera on there and, and sort of, or your phone, and uh, try and get it quite, quite sort of vertical down. Uh, you can also wrap it to a... What could you wrap it to in here? <laughs> a chair or anything like that. You can be creative. Um, and um, the important thing will be to try and keep it very, very steady. So it will help. It will really help with your, with your video. Um, play to your strengths. I think for me, it's about being authentic. I think Kat mentioned it as well. Whatever your brand or your cause or whatever it is as a group you decide to represent, 
it should feel authentic and true for, for, for what you're trying to rep, uh, represent. Um, and, and it doesn't have to be something else. Let it be what it is and, and be true to that. Um, end with the beginning in mind, particularly true if you're going to try and do a, a looping vine. So remember exactly what your first frame was so that you try and get it exactly the same. The iceberg effect you'll see, you'll probably spend, an, especially when you see it's a six second video and you could, you'll probably spend an hour now doing it. Um, <laughs> um, walk before you can run, you know, it, it, you, you know don't bite off too much. A, a good idea well executed is, is really powerful. Um, and dedication is what you need. So if we, um, we have, does everybody have a badge still? Yeah, cool. So we've got a color on that badge, a little colored dot on your badge. So we've got orange, red, yellow, white, purple, green, brown, black, pink, and blue. So we'll split you up into groups in a second. Each, do you want to just quickly show some of the props you've got? You'll have a bag like this. In there you've got like um, uh, paper, you've got colored cards, balloons, paper clips, plasticine. Um, what else have we got? Balls. Um, all kinds of scissors, all kinds of bits and pieces. Um, so I should, I can't wait to see what... <laughs> Each of the groups. I'll, I'll, I'll sort of, I'll, to try and uh, maximize the time, I'll sort of, I'll go around in a second and, and say where we can sp meet, where you can go for each group. Do try and plan. You'll find that it'll be a lot more effective. Spend the time to plan first and try and have a step-by-step -step approach and clear uh, responsibilities within the group about who's going to do what and when. If you do mess up, that's totally fine. You'll learn each time you do it and just start again and, and get on. And you'll probably get quite quickly to, the, to where you were because you've, you've already gone through it. At the end, um, what time are we hoping to um, finish? Is it quarter to, quarter to six? six. Yeah. So, what time is it now? Quarter to five. So, about an hour? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's 30 people, which means 10 groups of three. Brilliant. Cool. Um, and um, <laughs> if, um, so when you finish doing your Vine, it'll ask you, do you want to publish it? Now, you've got two options. You can, if you're feeling you know, chuffed about what you've done. Um, you can publish it to Vine, even if it's just for today. Um, you can delete it after if you like. But um, you can then, when, you, when, you, when it's published to Vine, you can then, it says share, and you can, it says copy the link. Tweet the link to me at Be Inspired Films. Um, if you can put your team name. So you can either say that your team name is your color. Well, actually, the colors might not, might not work right now. So in the first one minute, Decide on a name. Don't get hung up on it. Just decide on a goofy name, any name, as long as it's a definite name for each team. Um, so team name and uh, hashtag MYDF. Um, and then that way we'll organize them for showing later. Um, and we'll be able to, everyone can vote. So cool, yeah? Everybody good? So why don't we, will we still have a bash at the colors and see how yeah. that works out? So if we can have the oranges over here. Anybody, you have to look at your badge to see what you got. <laughs> uh, orange people, uh, does, everybody, does everybody want to take part? <laughs> Everyone's taking part. There's no choice. Great. So orange over here. If we can go um, reds here, um, yellows say here, yellows, uh, whites here, uh, purples in the middle at the back, uh, greens over here. I wonder if anybody's following this. <laughs> um, browns over here. Blacks over here, and pink and blue over here, and then you can decide between yourselves. Cool. Perfect. Oh, you've got nothing. You can join anyone you like. Whichever one I want. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I think we've got, if we have any people left on the live stream, we're signing off to you now. You can tune back in at uh, quarter to six if you'd like to see the finished videos. Thank you.